Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. And in today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders. The concept is place value. This is part four. We will be reviewing whole numbers in standard, expanded, and word forms. Remember third graders, you have brains in your head, your, your feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. We will be reviewing problems that are in our math, third grade math review workbook. It is available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you will be alerted to new videos that we upload. Now let's dive into our place value review. Looking at our chart, we have 10 ones and we're going to start from right to left. 10 ones is equal to 110. 10 tens is equal to 100. 10 hundreds is equal to 1,000. 10 thousands is equal to 1 ten thousand. And 10 ten thousands is equal to 100,000, okay? And we have our chart to help us. So let's look at an example to see and get some practice of what this looks like. So we have 70 hundreds is equivalent to well, in order for us to discover what our answer is, we have to look and see what, where we need to start. So we have 10 hundreds is equal to 1,000. So 70 hundreds is equivalent to, if you said seven thousands, you are correct. So whenever you're solving these type of problems, you'll have a conversion chart. You may have a conversion chart. If not, you could write one down on your scratch paper so that you can remember. Let's do one more example before we dive into our problems. We have three hundreds is equivalent to all right, so in order for us to, to solve this problem, we are gonna look for our hundreds, okay? Three hundreds is equivalent to, well, in our place value chart, we can see that 100 is equal to 10 tens, so that means that three hundreds is equal to 30 tens, okay? Now let's dive into our problems. We are on number five in our workbook. Remember the third grade, grade math review workbook is for sale in our store. You can click the link so you can grab yours today, but come back if you leave, come on back, all right? So number five we have, which of these models represent the same number? Now looking at model X, we see that we have one, two, three, four, five ones blocks going down vertically and then going across or horizontally, we have one, two, three, four, okay? Model Y, we have tens blocks and we know that we can see that we have two columns of tens blocks and in each block each column we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay we have ten and then in model z we have hundred blocks we have two hundred blocks okay so model x we have five we said going vertically or going down and four horizontally or going across Five times four is equal to 20. So in model X, we have 20 ones. In model Y, again, those are the tens blocks. We have two columns of tens blocks, and that means if there are um, 10 for each block and there are 20 all together, then that means that is 200. And then lastly, model Z, we have 200 blocks, and that means that that is 200 as well. All right, so 
Which of, the, of these models represent the same number? Is it A, model X and model Y? Because 20 ones is equal to 20 tens. Is it B, model X and model Z? Because 20 ones is e equivalent to two hundreds. Is it model, is it C, model Y and model Z? Because 20 tens is equal to two hundreds or D, none of these. Our first important question we need to ask ourselves is what? What are we looking for? Okay, that's the most important question we need to ask ourselves. Well, what we're looking for is the model that rep the models that represent the same number. So our next important question is what information can help us find the answer? Okay, what information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is discovering the value of each model. So model X is equal to 20 ones. Remember we counted there are five ones blocks going down or vertically and four ones blocks going across or horizontally. Five times four is 20. That's 20 ones. Model Y is equal to 20 tens because we said those are 10 blocks and there are two columns of, and in each column there are 10, 10 blocks each. <laughs> and then for model Z, we have 200 blocks, okay? Now, our next question is how do we solve the problem? Very easily, what we need to do is we need to compare to discover which model it represents the same number, okay? So what we did is for model X, we broke everything out to put its true value. For 21s, well, 21s is equal to 20. If you count ones all the way up to 20, it's just 20, okay? For model Y, it's 20 tens. So that is equal to 200, okay? Another way of saying it is 20 times 10 is equal to 200. Or if you can't remember that, what you can do is count all of the blocks, the tens blocks, to see what that equals, okay? And then model Z is equal to 200 blocks, so that is 200. Now that we know the values of all of our blocks, what is the correct answer? And let's go back one more time to take a look, okay? And as we're looking, we can look at not only what the values are for each model, but also what looking at our answer choices. Can you see what the correct answer is? If you said C, you are absolutely correct because model Y, which is 20 tens, is equal to 200. And also model Z, which has two 100 blocks, is equal to 200 as well. I forgot a zero. That should be, and I'm gonna put it right now, guys, while we're talking, okay? That should be 200, so, our correct answer still, even though Miss Jackson forgot a zero, is 200, okay? Great, let's move to question number six. What is the relationship between the thousands place and the hundreds place in the number shown? So the number that is shown is 971,111. Is it F, the thousands place is two times greater than the hundreds place? G, the thousands place is 10 times greater than the hundreds place? H, the, ten, the thousands place is seven times greater than the hundreds place? Or J, the thousands place is zero times greater than the hundreds place? Oh, this is... This should be a pretty easy question to answer, but we're gonna walk along anyway. But I know you probably, you guys probably already know the answer. 
What's our most important question? It is, what are we looking for? Okay, what are we looking for? We are looking for the relationship between the thousands place and the hundreds place. Ooh, I know y'all know the answer. Okay, the next important question we need to ask ourselves is what information can help us find the answer? Well, the information that can help us find the answer is identifying the place values that we are looking at, okay? We said we're looking at the relationship between the thousands place and the hundreds place. So, and we pulled out our handy dandy chart to see what the relationship is between the thousands place and the hundreds place, okay? Now, how do we solve this answer? I know you guys have already probably solved it. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to look at our place value chart because remember in the beginning of the video, what we did was we broke down all of the numbers in comparison to the place value. Okay. And what we've highlighted in red, look at our place value chart. We say for the thousands, there are for 1000 is equal to 10 hundreds or 10 hundreds is equal to 1000. So now that we know that the next question we need to ask ourselves is what is the correct answer? Is it F the thousands place is two times greater than the hundreds place G the thousands place is 10 times greater than the hundreds place. H, the thousands place is seven times greater than the hundreds place. Or J, the thousands place is zero times greater than the hundreds place. I know you already knew the answer before we got to it. It is G. The thousands place is 10 times greater than the hundreds place. Very good. And that is it for part four of our 2022 third grade math review of place values. Again, if you would like to follow along and you can um, write in your workbook, you can grab one today from our store. The link will be in the description box. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.